I was just heading through uh, Renanga and uh, stopped in at the uh, the top shop, had some lunch, cup of tea, bumped into bumped into Cliff, who's always flat out. Have you ever noticed that? He's always building something. And uh, thought I'd better uh, come and have a look at the laundrette here. The last time we come in, uh, they were just putting things together, getting ready to open. How are you, Cliff? Hey, hey, good, good. Now I see you flat out out the back there. Yeah, yeah, digging yeah. a hole again. Yeah. You haven't thought of retiring? Uh, yeah, I've thought of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now look, uh, last time I was in here, I had a look around and and you hadn't. These things weren't connected. Yep. No, pretty much we uh, we've come on screen, so three nine kg washers and uh, four fourteen kg dryers, gas operated dryers, and uh, also a couple of uh, showers as well. To save the toilet at the end. So, so, so what sort of, how, is the building open? It's limit? open uh, 8am to 8pm. So do you get any, uh, do you get any, any truckers or any people like that? Yeah, no, we've sort of had quite a few that are um, just living in the area as well. And yep. they've got a, a bus or something in the bush. Um, they'll come down and use the showers a lot and, and do the laundry. And shoot in next door and have breakfast? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love yeah. it. I uh, love it. It all, it all ticks together, you know. Now listen, uh, the washing machines, what, what are yeah. they? I mean, they're... Basically, 9kg Maytags. What's a Maytag? I've never heard uh, of that. American brand washing machine. I've been around for quite a few years. Um, but yeah, they're 9kg. They, uh, they hold a good load and a uh, nice robust machine. So it's normally... Um, it's $4 for a wash cycle, it takes about 40 minutes. And the dryers just take one and two dollar coins as to how you want to, uh, how so, you, how you want to dry them. You know? So you come wash your clothes for four bucks? Yep. It's um, not, that's, that's pretty cheap. Oh, everything, that's... Everything's cheap here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and and these, are the, uh, these are the dryers? Yep. So we've got 14 kg dryers. Jeez, they're big size, aren't they? They are. And I mean, we used to wash the tea towels and everything from the shop and put them in our dryer over there. I mean, we put them in here and if you put a full load in there for um, 20 minutes it's dry, you know, um, and that cost you four bucks. So yeah, it, it actually works. And so when they come along, what do they need? They need uh, one and two dollar coins. One and two dollar coins and we can change them at the shop if need be. Of course, so and, and uh, now you do breakfast next door, don't you? Yeah. And yep. you do lunches because I just yep. have one. Yeah, yep. And we, uh, our main thing at the moment is our um, homemade gourmet pies. They go out the door or something like this. Um, what, what sort? What we do is we actually um, spit roast the meat for four hours, and then we braise it for another two in gravy, and that's the filling for the pie. We don't actually use any fillers other than vegetables. Yeah. Whether you're having um, beef and mushroom, beef and cheese, beef and vegetable, pork and apple, it's got a piece of crackle on the top, mm. baked into the pastry, um, bacon and egg, but there's no fillers, everything in them is, is full food, you know. That's fantastic, and, yeah. Uh, they yep. go well. Yep. What's, uh, I, didn't, I didn't notice that when I went in for lunch, but I was dying to have sausages and eggs. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've been having them for years. Yep. Now, yeah. now what about uh, Spit Roast Company? I saw you at uh, Eggfest. Yep. Gee, yep. you feed a lot of people, mate. Yeah, I think we would have, um, but we did 130 kgs of salad, <laughs> homemade salad. Yeah. So, um, and yeah, we just run out on the first day at one o'clock. Um, everything just went out and we thought we had enough salad for the weekend. But, yeah. Yeah, we came back and stayed until midnight making salad for the next day. So. The, uh, hey, the exhibitors that turned up, Weren't they just great? Oh, it was. It was brilliant. You yeah, know, all supporting the coast. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And no, it was a really good thing. And it put people um, in the area that wouldn't have been in the area normally. Um, and we just need to be doing more of it, you know. Oh, I think Andy Thompson and his team there did an absolutely fantastic yeah. job. Yeah. Looking, uh, forward, looking forward to that in 2022. Yeah, you know, I think it's, it's a winner. I mean, it's built and built and built. And we had a bit of an advantage this year with no Canterbury show. So it was um, a good move, wasn't it? They, they had to come to the coast to see what the real place is like. Yeah, how did you put on the fine weather? What was the uh, story there? Just organise it early yeah. enough, you're right. <laughs> Book ahead of time. Yeah. <laughs> well, there we go, folks. We're, at, uh, we're in uh, Renunga and uh, Cliff Sandry just been showing me the, the washing machines and the dryers. You can come in here from 8 in the morning to 8 till night. And uh, hey, bring one dollar and two dollar coins, and you're into it. Yep, Cliff. Uh, hey, thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. No problem. All good.